as we have discussed in the principle of the ecology that the flow of matter plays a very crucial role and we have discussed that the flow of matter has always been in a cyclic pathway so in that case we will discuss how the flow of matter actually works so this is the beginning for the flow of matter the first one in the flow of matter would be the nitrogen cycle The nitrogen cycles mainly involves the five main processes. So there are five main processes. These five main processes are first is nitrogen fixation, then nitrification take place then assimilation then ammonification and then finally denitrification so it's like a cycle here then here then here and finally here so like one two three four and five now let's talk about each and every one of them so first one was nitrogen fixation so nitrogen fixation is basically a conversion of the nitrogen into the reactive wait a second let me was a conversion of nitrogen into reactive nitrogen reactive nitrogen is where the bonds are covalent for example like ammonia a simpler form basically now this whole process take place through two ways so uh, one of them can be an atmospheric fixation or it can either be through the bacterial fixation so this process takes place either through one of them now uh, the example of the atmospheric uh, fixation can be attributed to I think that's lightning that's a natural phenomena or it can also be through combustion right similarly for the bacterial fixation it occurs through two ways again the one of them is either through the symbiotic bacteria and other through the free living bacteria the symbiotic bacteria are those which live in a relation so like they are committed right okay so symbiotic bacteria can be like we have discussed earlier also that's called the rhizobium we have discussed this thing uh, in interactions the free living bacteria can be the nostoc it can be the azobacter is it oh i think yeah if i make a spelling mistake please guys you do check it again i'll make sure that there is no spelling mistakes it can be cyanobacteria yes these are the mostly one of them so this is what nitrogen fixation means that we are converting the nitrogen to the simpler form that's called the reactive nitrogen and that is the first stage now comes the second stage that is nitrification nitrification is basically a process in which the ammonia is converted into the nitrates through 
nitrosomonas and the nitrococcus. So let me let me write all these things. Uh, so it is a process where ammonia, which we got from here, is converted into nitrates. by what by nitro somnas and or nitro caucus yeah so that is basically second stage the third stage of this is assimilation assimilation is a stage where the nitrogen which was fixed by plants converts to the organic molecules for example for example like uh, in the previous stage we have converted it into the nitrates now these nitrates would be available to the soil and these nitrates would be absorbed by the organic molecules and these organic molecules of the plant they are basically able to use it as their proteins RNA and the DNA so uh, we should write it as that assimilation here the nitrogen fixed by plants to organic molecules so example uh, it will be converted into what uh, something like proteins right proteins like the RNA or the DNA right so this is what it is now let's get back to the next stage that is our fourth stage so our fourth stage was basically Ammonification. In this ammonification, what generally happens when a living organism like a plant then it dies and gets back to the soil? It releases a nitrogenous waste product in the form of the urea and the uric acid. And this whole process is called the ammonification. So we'll write it as a living organism passes away and it produces nitrogenous waste product example urea is there uric acid is there now we come to the final stage that is our denitrification it's a stage where the nitrates converts back to the gaseous nitrogen so simply we write it as you know uh, the nitrates which basically converts back to the gaseous nitrogen so I think we are pretty much done here now um, if you want to write still which bacteria are used in this case so there are multiple of them so uh, it can be the rhizobium uh, I don't think uh, I think it is pseudomonas mainly pseudo Monas, yes, it is pseudomonas, which basically uh, comes under denitrification, which converts the nitrogen back to the nitrogen in the atmosphere. So remember this name because that's important. They can ask you uh, from the prelims perspective. So yes, that's all about the nitrogen cycle. Let's jump to the next one.